So it's right in the mix, Cyril, huh? Yeah, it is like Derry. You'd have to say, like, it's anyone's game at the moment. Go on, kind of in the driving seat. They're getting the better chances. There's very little bobbing up to the Derry forwards at the moment. They might just hang it in there, but you'd have to say, go away, like, if they tacked on a point, they should go on to win this game. Actually, I should mention Tony Ward's mother in law, Mary Costello, was watching today in Leitrim. She's recovering from a bad fall. Tony and his family wanted to send Mary their best regards. Claire O'Kane restarts the game. Galway leading by a point. Grania McNichol firing that one again in long. You can see the way the wind has changed around. That was helping as the ball was tucked in. Galway full back line have been pretty good in this second half. Derry haven't scored since the seventh minute of the second 30 minute half. Here's Deirdre Burke. Maeve McGoldrick arrived just at the right time from a Derry point of view. Ernest Nikoshida across. Now Katrina Cormican. Cormican is a bit too high for Emma Kilkelly, who just took her eye off that. Aileen McCusker gets Derry going forward once more. They need cool customers and calm heads to get back into this game. That is a Galway free, and you could hear the roars of encouragement for Colette Gill, the Galway cornerback, who was very prominent towards the end of the first half, and again coming to the fore for Galway. Yeah, Darren, you have to say that Katrina McCormick's well, but she might look on game, she's a real workhorse, she's doing a lot of work around the middle and like, getting onto a lot of ball. Clodagh McGrath. Forward for Galway. Brilliant take in the air from Eilish Nikoshida, and fouled as well. Just a point between them. Will it be Derry's first or will it be Galway's third time to win the Jack McGrath Cup? The championship first played in 1992. Dublin were the initial winners. It became the All-Ireland B Championship and in the last few years has been the All-Ireland Intermediate Championship. Here come Galway, Katrina Cormican again getting through an enormous amount of work and firing the ball forward to Orla Curtin who's isolated but may not need anybody else. Curtin will have to do it himself. Goal chance and a brilliant stop again but it's still not clear. Rachel Monaghan couldn't take it first time. Monaghan now closed down, pressure put on her. Now through is Rebecca Henley and that is called as wide. You heard Claire O'Kane shout wide but Galway really should have come away from that attack with a score. Pucked wide in the end by Rebecca Henley. Uh, fantastic chance, the ball breaks out here to Rachel Mon and just can't control it. Gets it back here to Rebecca Henley like you know, the Mets is going to tap it over the bar and again it just goes wide. That's a let off for Derry and they're still in this game. But Galway right on top. They certainly are. Will there be a third goal in the match for Derry? They've had three goals in each of their championship matches to date haven't conceded an awful lot they've conceded three nine today and find themselves behind again though it's Galway looking menacing Orla Curtin used to play with Limerick now back with Galway Orla Curtin closed down and fairly crunched and she's gone down injured Derry well they finally get their hands on the ball the referee has blown the whistle Orla Curtin is down injured another goal scoring opportunity goes a begging yeah she came right in here like she took on all the defenders you know, it wasn't a free really because she was charging as much as anything. She's dragged to the ground there, the ball is lost, but like she had plenty of time to play it. Could have gone either way, you know, the ball would be probably thrown in at this stage. Great bit of skill to take control of the ball in the first place, but Derry with plenty back to cut off the danger. Yeah, she's a very good player, though. She has very good skill, just like her sister, Veronica Curtin. They have all the skills of, of the game, and very, very dangerous, very natural forwards. I hope she's all right. It's close to nine minutes since we last had a score in this uh, All-Ireland final. A lot of tension. Ten minutes now. Yeah, it's a long time since Derry had a score. Like they're just barely hanging in without, without getting the odd ball up and not getting any scores at all. Good Derry with just three points to show for their efforts. They came in the first seven minutes. Remember, the first one of the second half was that Gronje McNichol point, which we thought was clearly wide. That is Daniel McChrystal, Daniel McChrystal from Glen, who is going to come in, receiving last-minute instructions from John A. Mullen. Orla Curtin is okay. 
Uh, it says she just winded the match against Chris. She did take a lot of buffet from going in there. Like she had a great chance. She is a good player. She's dangerous every time she goes through. Of course, she's playing for time as well. She's she's having a chance at the ref at the, ref at the moment. So she should be all right. Maeve McGoldrick is going to go off the Derry team, and we saw her replacement, Danielle McChrystal. Yeah, Maeve have been in trouble for a good while. Derry, you flagged that earlier on. She's got a hard bet that says she's just, you know, she must have something kind of hurt in her side or something. Less than three minutes to go in the All Ireland Intermediate Camogie final for 2012. Derry trailing by a point. Keelan Bradley, well, showing great determination. Now, Karen Keelt. Kamogi Player of the Year, as voted by the Irish News. Galway have funneled so many players back to deal with that Derry attack, but a nice little bit of stick work from Keelan Bradley wins the ball back for Derry. Gronje McNichol fouled, and they will have a chance to make it all square. They haven't scored since the seventh minute of the second half, and they've got a free coming up right now for that. Yeah, should, sco should score here now. It's gone with Goldrick has taken this. She hits it good and solid. It's in a nice position. Like, there is a bit of a breeze but you have to use it, hit it solid to follow through. So, Gronje McGoldrick to bring us all square, and she's done it. Huge pressure on Gronje McGoldrick. That's her first point of this All Ireland final. Going into the last two minutes, Dara, all up for grabs. No, she was up to the task. 2 12 to 3 9. This puck out is vital. Derry have to turn it back and go, we have to win it. 90 seconds of the regulation, 60 remain. 20 odd minutes uh, just over since Derry's last score before that McGoldrick free. Galway, a succession of goal chances down at the other end, which Claire O'Kane and others managed to snuff out. Well, since Galway last scored, as you saw as well. So much tension around the place. Sarah New takes the free. There'll be four minutes to be added on at the end of this All-Ireland final. Ephraim Nikoshida under pressure from Orla Curtin, who really has come into her own in the second half for Galway. Eilish Nikoshida, Aoife's sister, with the clearance for Derry. Now it's Tara Kenny for Galway. Kenny lets the ball go, and... Gets a free as well. Katrina Cormack had tried to hang on to that. It missed her hand, and uh, well, they've got a free now and a chance to nudge in front again. Emma Kilkelly will take it. What way is the wind blowing now? Who knows? It's. Uh, I'd say it's with Galway at the moment. Looks to be with Galway now. Yeah. Round again. Yeah. This time, Rachel Mann has been told to come out to take it. Ah, okay. Well, even though they did get a goal out the last one, uh, Emma didn't actually strike it that well, so. Well, this is Rebecca Henley, actually, who's is, yeah. going to take it. Again, would be a natural striker. Well, let's see. Massive pressure on Rebecca Henley. Not on the field that long for Galway. Hasn't caught it. Derry just about. Well, they didn't deal with that at all well. And the ball is poked over the bar eventually by Rachel Monaghan. That's a good score. He's going back in the driver's season. Time is ticking on. Be interested to see how much injury time. Huge score for Rachel Monaghan, and they go a point in front. We're in the four minutes of added time. Rachel Monaghan has Galway leading again. There's Deirdre Burke coming to the fore once more. The sun in the eyes of Claire O'Kane, but O'Kane got out to it, but the ball was blocked down. She was far too casual, and O'Kane under serious pressure as Orla Curtin is in around her ankles looking to get the ball back. Derry put a player back on the line. O'Kane now goes towards her own goal line. Well, that was a bit of a mess from a Derry point of view. Point scoring chance coming up for Galway. Can they go two clear? Yes, they can. Gone over the bar. And Galway go two ahead. Fast puck out here. It was Avine Kenny who put the ball over. Galway leading by two. And Derry having drawn level. I've got to go up the other end of the field very quickly. They've got less than three minutes to find a way back into this All-Ireland final and to find a route to their first intermediate All-Ireland crown. Galway leading by two points. And they have possession. It's Tara Kenny with the ball on her stick, but dispossessed by Gronje McGoldrick. Then the cavalry arrives. Maeve McGoldrick firing that in. Goal scoring chance. Will this be their third goal? And the ball's in the back of the net. Derry have scored. 
That was their third goal. But the referee isn't going to allow the goal stand. He's given a penalty instead. He's given a penalty instead. The goal does not stand. What kind of a rule is this? Unreal. The ball ended up in the back of the net. But the referee had blown the whistle for a foul. Obviously, before it ended up in the back of the net from Karen Keelt. Keelt's jersey very nearly pulled off her shoulders by the Galway player. No advantage given here, no one no. else but now there is, there is terrible excitement. And it's Katie McEnany. She has to go for it. Has to go for it, none of this will I put it over for the point. McEnany for Derry, and it's in the back of the net. Yes. Derry lead by a point with 90 seconds to go. Katie yes, McEnany from the penalty. They deserve that, Darryl, because still was a good goal. It'd be tough if there's blocked, they'd have to score in that goal. And now it's up to Galway to find a way to bring it level. Rebecca Henley fires the ball long, but there's nobody in the maroon and white of Galway up there. Only Claire O'Kane, the Derry goalkeeper. Derry looked out of it for long spells. They lead by a point, but their work's still not done. Rachel Monaghan of Galway. Will she engineer an angle for a point? They've got a free. They've got a free. It looks like it's going to be a draw match here, Dara. Like last Sunday again, late Galway free and stuff. Four minutes of added time and we're almost at the end of the fourth. The Derry substitutes cannot watch after the joy of Katie McEnany's penalty. This is the moment for Galway. Will they be able to take it? And they move through another free taker. They're back with Rachel Monaghan. Yeah, but she's a regular Incredible free Incredible pressure. For club and school. To level it up and she's done just that, Rachel Monaghan. What does the ref do now, Dara? Yes, well, the four minutes are as good as gone. It's a draw game, 3-12 to 3-12. What a thrilling finish to this All-Ireland Intermediate Final. Derry thought they had it, the team's level, for a fifth time. Derry looked like they had it at various times during the first half. Had a huge lead. The four minutes are over, and there is the whistle. It is over. This All-Ireland Intermediate Final for 2012 ends in a draw. Rachel Monaghan's late, late free. Another Galway person to score a late free in Croke Park within the space of seven days means a replay. Yeah, a draw. you'd have to say a very fair result could have gone either way. Derry will feel at half-time that should have been a lot more up than Galway got the goals in the first half. Then Galway took the lead and Derry got a fantastic goal to, to go a pint up. But it'd be tough on any of the girls that actually had to lose that match. Well, dramatic finish to this All-Ireland final. Very, very dramatic indeed. And uh, they thought they had it, Derry, after Katie McEnany's penalty ball ended up in the back of the net it ended up in the back of the net before the penalty as well from Karen Keel but the referee called the back 3-12, yeah. 3-12 I wonder is this game over or is it going to be extra time Dara? well we have been told that the replay is for the 29th of September the venue and throw in time to be confirmed I know what you mean though it looked as if they were getting ready for something else but Tony Ward has got his Galway players in the huddle John A. Mullen will do the same with the Derry players but uh, thrilling climax to this yeah a good game a good standard a good standard of holding like him all the skills of the game like I'd have to say the goal manager did very well the Brahanda subs and so did, so did, so did John A. McMullen like it just shows you, Dara, that isn't isn't a 15 girl game anymore. Like you have to have the 18, 19, and 18 to come on. I think uh, Gaul will finish with a very strong team. Uh, you know, it will interest the next day. Gaul will feel, I'd say, that they will improve. But Derry were so much on top in the first half and probably didn't kind of kill Gaul. We have to let Gaul back into that game. And when when Derry floating over lovely points, Dara, at that stage, that strong breeze, they want to be tacking on a goal or two extra. They only went in the three points up at half times. A very little against the breeze. Now the breeze did switch for Derry for a bit in the second half, and then after a while again, it came Gaul's way. I, I, I see Declan Welch down there down, laying down the law. He'd be the coach of that team and he's trying to get a goal for the next day. Well, the next day is the 29th of September. Another Galway team involved in a replayed All-Ireland final, but it was a thriller. Great climax to this intermediate final. It ends in a draw. Derry 3-12, Galway 3-12.